and the Senate on Tuesday moved to re-amend the proceeds of Crime Recovery and Management Bill 2022 passed on March 9th. This followed the consideration of a motion for recommittal sponsored by Senate leader Yahya Abdullahi during plenary. In his presentation, Abdullahi relied on orders 1, subsection B, and 52, subsection 6 of the Senate Standing Orders 2022 as amended to move for the amendment of the bill. He explained that the re-amendment of the bill became imperative in view of Clause 74. It placed the burden of proof on the investigating agencies rather than the defendant, as recommended by the Joint Committee in its report. The Senate observes that some fundamental issues which should require fresh legislative action emerged after a critical analysis of the bill and considering the amendment that was made to Clause 74 of the bill which placed the burden of proof on the investigating agencies but not on the defendants which was the recommendation of the Joint Committee and contrary to the provisions of Article 12, Subsection 7 of the United Nations Convention Against Transnational Organized Crime which provides as follows, and I quote, Section 7, states parties may consider the possibility of requiring that an offender demonstrate the lawful origin of alleged proceeds of crime or other property liable to confiscation. The Senate accordingly resolved to rescind its decision on Clause 74 of the bill as passed and recommit same to the committees on judiciary, human rights and legal matters and anti-corruption and financial crimes with a view to exploring safeguard against abuse. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.